Hi everybody, Joe here from Shutter Speak Photography. Very nice to see your smiling faces again here on YouTube. So today I'd like to talk to you a little bit about some new things that are in the pipeline for Skylum, uh, new Luminar AI that'll be coming out shortly. So um, let's just take a look at this image here. Now, what if you could take this image on the left and quickly transform it into the image on the right? Now. I know what you're saying. Hey, we can already do this. We have sky replacement in Luminar 4. However, Luminar AI has raised the bar a little bit with the new Sky AI 2.0. And you'll see in this image to the right, the reflection of the clouds in the water. So they've added water reflections and some controls for water reflections into um, Sky AI 2.0. So this is a really nice feature. So we're going to take a look at some screenshots that we've gotten from Skylum concerning this new feature. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about a patch uh, that's come out for Luminar 4 that fixes a, an issue some Windows users were having. And we'll take a look at the Luminar X membership. So before we dive right in, I'd just like to say thanks for watching. I appreciate you being here. And if anything in this video helps you out, please help me out by hitting subscribe and ring the bell. So you get notified of future updates to this channel. Um, I'd really appreciate it. It would help me out again. If I help you to make a good purchase decision, please help me out. And best of all, it's free. So thanks for that. I appreciate it. So, all right, let's dive right into Luminar AI. So you can see here in Luminar AI, again, we have our regular shot to the left. To the right, we see we have a sky replacement using Dramatic Sunset 4 and some uh, horizon blending and relighting applied. And again, you'll see down here uh, some at atmospheric haze and sky temperature added. And that's actually something new, sky temperature and the, the atmospheric haze uh, that's going to be coming to Luminar AI. Um, but in addition to that, we're going to take a look at some other images. And I'm going to show you that you're also going to have some control over the uh, water and ripple effects of the reflection in the water. So that's going to be really nice. So is this something you can do with Photoshop? Absolutely. It's something you can do with Photoshop. However, doing water reflections with the sky in Photoshop is a little bit tricky. Um, and I really think that um, the people that are out there looking to buy Luminar AI and, and Luminar 4 owners, a lot of them are not Photoshop owners. And, and if you're not a Photoshop owner and you're looking for something that's a standalone photo editor um, that's not a subscription, then I think this is where you're going to want to look. Um, I, mean, I don't think that Luminar 4 is a good deal right now only because Luminar AI is so close. We're only a few months away at this point. So I would hold off and wait till Luminar AI comes, uh, comes out. And again, right now you can get it on the pre-sale. So it makes it an even better bargain. But again, is this something you could do in Photoshop? Yeah, absolutely. Um, it would take a little bit of work, but this is something now you can do uh, really with no work whatsoever, just a, just a mouse click or two and you know, a, a one or two sliders and you're done. It's gonna make super quick work of something that was um, a little bit complex. So let's take a look at some of the sample images. So here we have a comparison between Sky 1.0 and Sky 2.0, Sky AI 1.0, Sky AI 2.0. And you'll see on the right side how we have uh, the clouds reflected into the water. And, and that's uh, it's done a fantastic job with it. Uh, it doesn't appear around the man or the eagle, uh, but it does appear everywhere else where the clouds should appear. So the AI has done a great job with that particular image. Uh, in this sequence here, Basically what we see is different skies being popped in and you'll see how as the skies pop in the before and after with the reflection uh, of the sky in the water. So again, the AI doing a fantastic job. It doesn't affect the horse or the uh, rider on the horse. Okay. And it's not really affecting uh, the area where the mountains are. Uh, it's really just putting it in exactly where it should go. So it's doing a great job. And here you see the, uh, water reflector, water reflection and water ripple slider that's going to give you that control of how much and 
how the ripples appear in uh, your, your water reflection. Um, let's take a look at the next one. So here we have a uh, bridge, right, with Sky 1.0. You can see the water would just appear how it appeared when the image was shot. And you can actually see the what was probably the old Sky in the water there, the blue. And now it's Sky AI 2.0. You see the Sky actually reflected in the water. And, you know, you see the colors, the tones, and the clouds in that reflection there. And again, you're going to have control over it as well. Let's take a look at this image here, which is the before and after of the man with the eagle. Again, you could see kind of a dull sky there and how the new sky has been dropped in. Sunset clouds one, and you'll see that reflection in the, uh, in the clouds there. And again, you see the, the atmospheric haze sliders. So you could add in a little bit of haze if you wanted to, and that sky temperature. So, um, again, it looks like they've done a really great job with this. Um, so this is something that's going to be coming to Luminar AI. And again, if you're looking for an editor that's not a subscription-based editor, this is probably the direction that you should be looking. Um, let's talk a little bit about pricing. So right now we are in the pre-sale of Luminar AI. So right now Luminar AI Pricing is one seat at $64, two seats available for $79. This is for customers who are previous owners of Luminar or Aurora HDR. Okay, so that's a savings of $20 by taking advantage of the pre-order. Now, if you're a new customer and you don't own any Skyland products, you don't own Luminar or Aurora, it's going to be $74 for one seat or $89 for two seats for new customers of $5 and $10 discount respectively. Uh, with the pre-order and of course uh, you know you're going to get it as soon as it comes out uh, so what's a seat so a seat is this um, let's say you have a pc and a mac and you want to install luminar ai on one installation on your pc one installation on your mac that's two seats okay let's say you only own a laptop and that's it you don't need two seats you're never going to use two seats you can save money by buying a one seat license. So if you're a current customer, that would be $64. You're saving $15, but you can only install it on that one machine. And that's great if you only own one machine. Uh, myself, I do have a Mac and a PC. I would want it on both. So for me, the right choice is buying the two seat license so I can install one copy on my Mac, one copy on my PC. For me, that makes the most sense because if something happens to either one, I'm not dead in the water. I can still do photo editing and work on the other computer and you know again this is like i said something can you do all of this in photoshop absolutely but you can do it much faster uh, sky replacement especially much faster in luminar 4 and it's going to be even better in luminar ai um, just for an example i had to do a commercial photo shoot for a company it was a very overcast day and it was outdoors the images came out great because we had that nice flat even outdoor lighting of an overcast day. However, the sky looked dreary. And of course the customer wanted the sky replaced. And so I just went into Luminar 4 and within no time at all, I was able to uh, just really a few minutes replace all the skies on all of the images and the customer was thrilled. And so it's a huge time saver. So if you're an owner of the Photoshop Lightroom subscription plan, Luminar AI will work as a plug-in and it's a great add-on to have to pop in, do creative edits, and then pop back to Lightroom or pop back to Photoshop. If you're looking for a standalone editor, it can do that as well. It can be a standalone product. It isn't, in fact, it is a standalone product, but it can also act as a plug-in. But it can be a standalone product. It will look through your images, look at your image directories, and you can make edits. It does not touch your original photo so that's always preserved um, however again you can make creative edits and export them from luminar ai so either way um, i think it's a great product the price is fantastic uh, it's a one-time fee it's not a subscription so um, i'll put some links down in the comments for luminar ai if you want to check out the website and place a pre-order next up if you were a or if you are a Luminar 4 customer and you have been 
locking up on the splash screen uh, in Windows 10. You're not alone. And Skylum has just come out with a patch to fix that. Okay, it had uh, something to do with the latest update to Windows 10. It caused the Luminar 4 product to lock up at the splash screen. Um, there is a patch available. If you're a current owner, you should have gotten an email from Skylum with a link to download. If not, go to the Skylum website and download that update. That'll correct the issue for you. So there's that. And now let's take a look at the Luminar X membership. And let me explain a little bit to you about what the Luminar X membership is. So Luminar X is a annual subscription that is going to give you uh, some downloads. Okay, you're going to get some looks packs, some sky packs for Luminar 4, Luminar AI, and tutorials. It's updated once a month. Okay, and once a month you're going to get a new look pack, a new sky pack, and a new tutorial. It's really just started. And uh, so what I like to do is uh, show you a little bit of what it looks like. And let's hop right in there and we'll take a look at what this membership looks like. So the first thing that you're going to notice when you go into your Luminar X membership, it's online. Okay, it's um, currently $59 a year. You'll see your looks packs and you can take a look at them and I'll, I'll pop in so you can see the before and after. So this pack gets uh, gets you 10 new looks for cityscapes and they're, they're really nice looks. So that's got that nice teal and orange uh, kind of look to it. Uh, here's a real nice look. This one I really like. And this really makes the fireworks in this image pop. Um, this one I really liked a lot too. And uh, this this one I loved, the way the, the, uh, the yellows and the colors really pop with this look pack. Uh, taking a look, we also have this landscape look pack uh, that's currently available. And again, this, this one really makes the colors pop here as well. So some real nice before and after looks. And there's 10 in here. We only have four samples, but there are 10. And then some real nice sky packs have been added so far. So let's take a look at these. This is a lightning pack. And you can see that these real nice uh, lightning sky shots, really beautiful. Uh, I mean, I love the cityscape. I mean, that, that really makes an amazing cityscape there, the before and after. And then here we have a uh, sunset pack. Again, 10 uh, sunsets. And you can see them here, some real nice sunsets. And again, I mean, these are really uh, making these, these images beautiful. Again, in New York City, real crystal clear day in New York City, but a very boring skyline. And you can see how that just makes an incredible difference. And uh, the same here, you know, a very, very uh, boring sky turns into a really dramatic and incredible sky. So before and after there as well. So again, 10 skies in that pack, 10 skies in the lightning pack. Um, you have some tutorials, one coming in 2020, and then a whole bunch of Luminar tutorials here. And additionally, a 15% discount on anything that you want to purchase. So $59 annually, um, updated monthly with new look packs and sky packs. Definitely worth it if you were going to buy even one sky pack. You definitely made your money back. Uh, oh, maybe two sky packs, you've made your money back. But they're giving you these for free each month, so you're going to build up in a really nice library. So. So that's a nice thing to have as well. Again, link down below in the comments um, to check that out and you know make a purchase if you so desire. So there you have it. That's what's new right now. Luminar AI really shaping up to be an incredible product. I know that there's um, a lot of talk here and there about what Luminar should have done in terms of Luminar 4. Should this have been Luminar 5? It's not. It's Luminar AI. It's a brand new product built from the ground up. Um, so if you're looking to purchase uh, your first product uh, and you're considering Luminar 4, I'm going to give you some advice. It's definitely a wait. Uh, I give you a hard, a hard stop on that and say wait for Luminar AI. Um, it's really shaping up to be a really nice product. The price is fantastic and uh, it just seems to be getting better and better as uh, the months draw closer to its release date. Again, scheduled to release in December. So, hey, there you have it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. If anything in this video helped you out to make a good purchase decision, please help me out by hitting that subscribe button and ring the bell. Leave me a comment and let me know what you think of Sky 
AI 2.0 with the water reflections. I really think that that's a nice addition to the Luminar AI product. So hey, there you have it. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'll see you again next time, YouTube. Bye-bye.